Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm sharing my first look that I've done in a really long time. I've been thinking lately that it would be really nice if there was a channel where you can find a series of tutorials that went with one palette. Because I know that there are a lot of um, YouTubers out there that use a bunch of palettes all at once. If you're trying to recreate that, that can become tricky, so I'm just going to try and stick with the palette itself and see what you can produce with that. Also, I should mention my accent. I, is a bit of a hodgepodge. I grew up in Australia and I've been living here in the US for 10 years so it's a bit of a weird mix of, of American and Australian so if it kind of fluctuates that's why. Don't be scared. This is a tutorial just for kind of a neutral look that I did using my Naked palette right there. Um, it's got a lot of use. It's definitely like one of the first palettes I bought. Well it was the first like higher end palette that I bought that made me really fall in love with doing my makeup. I'm really sad that this is being discontinued and like, I don't know why and I wish they would tell us why, but it's okay. So, but I know it is still available at like Sephora and, or at least online and on Macy's.com, it still has some and they're only $27 right now. So I really feel like if you missed out on buying one, you know, if you haven't up to this point, now's a good time because it's a really solid, like, neutral palette. I mean, mine's gross, but, you know, it's just got so many different things to work with. And so I'm going to start that as my first series of tutorials. Anyway, so this is a big introduction, but I'm going to, like, make sure with every video I put a little link or, like, at least write where you can jump to in the video to get straight into the tutorial. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video, and let's get started on this tutorial. Okay, I'm going to start off with a primer. I'm going to use the Urban Decay anti-aging primer for fun because I have a sample of it. I usually use the other primer potions by Urban Decay. So I'm sure this one's good too. Take a little bit of that under my eye too. Now we're going to get our palette. Naked palette. You can see mine's had a lot of good use. I'm going to go in with my Sigma E40 brush and I'm going to get the color Naked right here. I'm just going to put that in my crease. And I like to really build up the makeup so I'm going to start with just small amounts. And then we're going to go in with Buck, right there. It's like a warm, medium brown, it's matte. The lighter the hand you use, the softer you are with your eye, the better the application. But Sometimes when you're in a rush, you just don't have time to be super soft. I'm going to put a little bit of powder underneath my eye. So I'm using this brush and I'm using Derma Blend Loose Setting Powder. And I'm going to just put a little bit of that underneath my eye just because we're going to be using some shimmery shades and I'm going to catch any fallout. Okay, next we're going to move in with <clears throat> Half Baked, right there, that gold. And I'm just actually going to use the brush that comes with the palette. This is not ideal for blending, but it is really good for putting on pigmented powders. Pigmented powders. Okay, so we're going to put the gold, this gold color on the inner part and kind of middle, inner to middle part of our lid. So pretty. I'm just dabbing it. We'll kind of go back in and blend things later. Alright, so now we're going to move in with our next color, Smog. Whoops. <laughs> so this 
like more brown metallic. I'm just gonna use that same brush and then I'm gonna kind of do that on the middle of my lid. Now sometimes I will actually take this one into my crease and like do my crease with it if I want my crease to be a little darker because the mattes in this palette aren't very dark. Um, but then you kind of get a shimmery crease, which is okay sometimes, but it doesn't quite add the same depth as mattes do, so it's really a personal preference. I think I'm just going to darken up the crease with the mattes I've already used once we've kind of finished this lid. I'm just going to kind of blend that a little bit together with my, what is it, my Sigma E25. Just dipping it in. Now we're going to go in with Dark Horse, which is this really dark brown metallic shade. I'm going to put that outer part of my eyelid. I'm going to use this brush to apply a little bit at first. Just kind of in the outer V. And we'll go back and do some blending. Let's do um, E25. And I'm going to grab a little bit more of that dark horse and just work that into my other crease a little bit more. In the crease too. Kind of help myself. Oops, I just picked up a lot because I wasn't thinking that. Okay, and then I'm going to go back with Smog, which was that middle brown metallic, and just blend things a little bit more. I really like this kind of gold brown metallic gradient with this look. Um, it's really pretty and shimmery without being like too much. Okay, let's use the E25 a little bit more. I'm going to pick up Buck again, so that medium matte. I'm just going to go back into the crease with that. And just define that a little bit more. And mattify it a little bit because it's quite shimmery at the moment, which is okay. I kind of like it. Now I'm going to go back in with the E40, just to kind of bring that out. Might add a little more buck. Just to, you know, you kind of just have to feel it out. You just add little bits of color here and there and layers until you feel like you've got a nice blended eye. If you want the gold to be more intense, you can take some setting spray. Just, I just spray it on something, on a mirror or whatever I have handy. Then I take some of the, I take some of the color. Yeah, I've got the gold there, half baked. And then I dab it in that. We can spray like the brush directly, and then you just take that back on there. Ooh la la, so fancy. Okay, I added some of that middle shade with the setting spray. I'm just kind of gonna blend that a little bit. Now we're gonna do underneath my eye. I think I'm gonna use this liner brush. Let's do Buck. Ta -da. I'm just going to put that under. So you can either leave it like this 
or you can go back in with the colors we did on top and I think maybe I'm just going to do two of the colors on top from on top I'm going to do dark horse which was that you know dark metallic I'm going to do that in the outer half And just kind of blend where that meets the ah, oh, I got myself in the eye. Now I'm gonna go back in in with half baked, which is that gold. And put that. Maybe I do want to use that metal metallic. I may have changed my mind. Okay, I'm going to put some smog in between. Decisions, decisions. All right, and then I'm just going to run over that with my E40 just to blend a little bit. Ooh, looking good and smoky and metallic. I'm liking it. Now we're going to do some highlighting. For the sake of just using the one palette, we are going to just highlight with Virgin from our palette. Boop, boop, boop. It's got a little bit of shimmer and it's light, so I'm gonna do a little bit of that under the brow bone. Lovely. Okay, and then I'm gonna take a little tiny brush like this, and I am going to put that on the inner corner, that same color, Virgin. But let's curl them first. Alright, and I'm just using Maybelline Total Temptation Mascara. Oh, and we have not brushed off the powder under our eyes, which is great because I just put fresh mascara on. That's great. Now what I am using, I just took it out, but I'm using the Milan lashes from Mink Lash Love. They're magnetic. So you've got your top lash and then you have three like little magnets with some lashes on them that you use to put them on. And so I'm not an um, expert by any means at putting these on. So I'm just gonna, gonna put them For lipstick, I am going to use Maybelline. Make, mm, mm, make warm me up. I mean, is that what it is? Warm me up. Okay, I'm going to put some of this Lancome prettiness. What is it? Mirrored Nude. Add a little bit of that. So I just realized that I didn't do any eyeliner. Usually I would, but I think I felt like it was looking good, so I just was like, oh, I'm done. Usually it feels incomplete without liner for me. But I'm going to add the liner just so we can kind of see what that is like. I'm just using the NYX matte liquid liner. So this is the final look. I hope that this channel can be a really useful resource if you own, you know, especially right now if you own a naked palette or future palettes too. I'm also planning on doing some tutorials for the Born to Run palette because I just got that one. It literally was just delivered while I was doing this tutorial. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye. trick if you would like your makeup a little more puppy you know like I have really good words I have the best words and then I'm gonna go go blah 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 blah
here, you nonsense person. Bye. Mm -hmm. Buena, buena.